How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting tutorial series and in this tutorial series I decided to make a blog application and I called it blog life and life spelled with a Y because I'm very creative of course and we're going to be making this in React, Django and we're also going to be using Bootstrap 4 for the styling. So there's going to be a couple interesting features in this application and before I kind of go into those little details let's do a little overview here. So here we can check out the blog and here on the blog page, you can see that there's different categories and you can go ahead and click on one of these and filter the blogs. Although on this blog page, it just lists all of them. And then of course you can go ahead and click on one of them and kind of see the details of it. Now, if we go ahead and filter, you can filter by like world, environment, technology, design, and so on. I'm just gonna go through all of these. There we go, so it filters all of them. Really cool. And now for some of the interesting features, let's go ahead and log into the admin panel here. And I'm going to show you some of the kind of more interesting things about this application. So first off, if we go ahead and create a new blog post here, um, you can see that there is no slug. Although when we went to click on the detail, we could see that there is a slug. So Pretty much I made it so that it does this automatically. So you fill out the title and then it'll slugify that title. And on top of that, you can't have duplicate titles and I can also demonstrate this. So for example, I have a few posts that have this exact same name. So technology all around. So I'm going to go ahead and create another one called technology all around. And then this is going to be in the technology section. Of course, just going to use one of my stock images here for this project some placeholder text and let's say June 1st or something. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And also something that you might have noticed is that we're using this thing. I forget what this is called, but basically it makes it a lot nicer to like make a blog post. You can have different font sizes and align things. You can put in images, things like that. So it's just much better to make blog posts in this sort of way. So I'll show you how to implement this. Now let's go ahead and log out here. So now we're going to go into technology here. Here's the one from June 1st. So if we go ahead and click it, we see that this three got appended. So you can't have duplicate slugs, which is a really nice kind of thing to have here. So the user doesn't have to worry about it and you don't have to worry about it. And life is good. <laughs> All right. So Basically in this app, we just have a simple home page, this overview, the filters and the detail. And that's pretty much all we're going to be like implementing for this. Also, when I was recording, I forgot to mention one kind of little feature. So here we have this kind of featured section. And basically, if you go into the blogs, you can set one of the blogs to be featured on here. And what's cool about this is that I made it so that only one blog can be featured. So if you go ahead and feature another blog to be displayed here, then it's going to remove the other one that was featured before it. So kind of a small little thing I forgot to mention. Anyway, back to the video. So if this looks like something interesting and you want to follow along with a the tutorial, then just go ahead and go into the next section. But of course, before you do that, make sure to subscribe and leave a nice fat like. And that is all. Thank you.